Hey guys, today I'm going to be sharing with you my Agenda 52 planner. This is the planner that I use for my scripture writing plans. And I do not currently have the plan for this page yet because I'm filming early because Jeff is going to be off work. So I don't have that, which I don't usually write that down with you guys anyway because I write it down every day. But at the end of the month or the first of the new month, I do show you guys my planners, all three of them, which now it's going to be four, but that's okay too. That won't start until August whenever I show you four because I haven't even started using the fourth one yet. But anywho's, let's just, you know, not jump ahead of ourselves. This week, I'm going to be doing the week of the 8th through the 14th. And I think I just said, <laughs> I don't know anymore because I've said it so many times. I'm filming early because Jeff is going to be off work. I didn't say all of that, I know. But I'm filming early because he's going to be off work next week, which I am super excited about because he gets to be home. And he works hard. And he is... Let's just say they love him a lot and they want to take him away from me as much as they can. <laughs> and I don't like it. <laughs> but no, he he has a hard job where he has to be a lot. And there's nothing we can do about that because at this point, there's no other job for him to get right now. Okay, so I'm going to be using this Agenda 52 book, but I think I'm just going to use these numbers because I'm trying to find some that are more neutral, but I don't really know what to use. But I'm going to get these. Um, go ahead and get them out so I can just put this book away. Oh, you get back in there. You did not supposed to come out. What is going on? I mean, you're cute and all, but no, I don't want you today. The wrong number tried to come out. Well, it's a number I'm going to need, but it was the wrong color. The wrong one. The wrong section. All right, so put that like that. Now, if you do like to write scripture and you need a scripture writing plan, mine is completely free. I do not charge for it at all. And it is on the link tree down below in the description. So, um, and every month I put a new one up. And I don't think I put it on the community tab. That covered that up. And I don't like it. <sighs> what am I going to do? I don't know. But I don't think I put it on the community tab on this channel. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to scooch that over. And I'm just going to cut that little white part off and I'm gonna do the same thing on Wednesday because I do not want for that to be like that I thought I had lost my tin it's already down there it's there it's okay okay but anyway I create a new one every month I have it there for you if you want it if you don't want to write the scriptures you can read them if you just want to there's a theme every month you don't have to do anything with it that's completely up to you if you you know i'm just offering <laughs> that's all there is to it i'm just offering if you um are interested it's there and I mean, I can't say it's completely free because you're using electricity and you're, if you print it off, you're using ink and paper, but I'm not charging you for it. I'll put it that way. So, it's one of those things. All right, so I'm going to be using this Stickabilities Floral Sticker Pack from Paper Studio. It came from Hobby Lobby. I'm going to use that as my stickers and I'm going to use this colorful boxes from happy planner as um for some of the boxes i'm going to use but i got to figure out which well i guess i know which ones i'm going to use oh i don't know exactly which ones but i'm going to use these colors so i guess i could have went ahead and pulled the other but i don't know i'm just going to put some pretty flowers on the page because you know i want pretty flowers on the page Pretty flowers are awesome. Can I put that? Yes. Okay. Let 
and I'm thinking that I can put one of each color on here. And then whenever I start back on the next page, I'm going to start with this color. Oh dear, that one's kind of tall, isn't it? And, okay, I don't want the blue, I want the yellow. So I'm going to put the yellow next. So I'm going opposite way is what I'm doing. It's what I'm trying to do anyway yellow and then blue and then this peachy color this bottom part is where I put my grateful thought and I know it says notes but I really want to cover that up somehow so what I'm probably gonna do is put one of these stickers over it actually let me go ahead and write the scriptures and then I'll decorate that one all right so I want to use colors that are gonna work well with this those I don't think will I don't even think the green I don't know well this green would yeah I think this will work okay so the where did you put it? paper okay the first one is James 125 now I don't write scripture to try to make my handwriting better or make it beautiful or anything like that I write scripture to help me remember scripture a little bit better I'm not great at it but I try All right Luke 4 18 and 19 is going to be Saturdays now I've never done it like this before but I'm trying to put the same color on each side what I should have done is put that one well you couldn't have because there's no scripture down there so that part wouldn't work that way I'll go over all the scriptures again but you can kind of see what I'm doing I'm going to use, nope, I'm not going to use the purple. Let's see what colors. Oh, these colors would be great, I think. Yes, this one, I think. Oh, there's a big spider over here. Okay, okay. Whew. I just had a fit, and I'm sorry. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> We're all okay. <laughs> I'm sorry about that, y'all. Whew, made my heart beat fast. Okay, so <laughs> I'm going to go on with this orangey color. I think I might use that yellowy color, too. Wow, okay. Number nine, 2 Timothy 1-7. Daisy just looked at me like I was crazy. Like, what is wrong with you, woman? Why are you jumping? Because <laughs> whenever something, the itsy bitsy spider comes around and you don't know it's there, you jump. <laughs> That's just what happens. You jump. <laughs> she might have jumped too if she's a human. <laughs> okay, the 14th is Romans 821. What color did I just use? This one. What was I even talking about? I don't remember. But I think I was talking about how that I don't, like, I'm not trying to make in my hand, like, I'm not doing scripture writing to make my handwriting better or anything like that. I'm doing it to help me remember scripture a little bit more and to kind of have a focus for the day. That's what I do it for. Now, is it helping me memorize scripture? No, it's not. I'm not going to lie and tell you it is, but it does help me have a focus for the day. So, all right, Thursday is the 11th, so I'm going to do Psalm 118.5. Now, these do have, these scriptures do have specific days. 
that they are to be written on if you want to do in the order that I have put them in, but you don't have to. Um, every once in a while I do like scriptures like multiple days. Um, I split it up. It'll be like the same book, but different part of the book, like five, six, seven, or whatever. I don't know how I'm trying to say. That spider has discombobulated my brain. All right, First Corinthians six twelve. Okay, and I need to get one more. So what am I gonna get? What color? Ooh, is there a pink? Ooh, is a peachy pink? Okay. The tenth is Galatians two four. Okay. So I'll go over them again. Monday the eighth is James one twenty five. Tuesday the ninth is Second Timothy one seven. Wednesday the 10th is Galatians 2 4. Thursday the 11th is Psalm 118 5. Friday the 12th is 1 Corinthians 6 12. Saturday the 13th is Luke 4 18 and 19. Sunday the 14th is Romans 8 21. And I put that really close to that Sunday, but you know what? I'm not going to worry about it. Okay, so now I want to cover this up because I don't need it there. So. I'm just going to put that there because I usually have a grateful thought down there. Um, that's what I, I put there anyway. It's not a usually, it's always. That's what I put there as a grateful thought for the month, the, the week, the week. Yes, it's a week, not a month. Um, that's what I do with that spot anyway. Let me put this pen out of my hand. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put... Now it's got me freaking out thinking that there's flower that's flowers. <laughs> Spiders on me. I promise there's not, but you know how your brain does. I'm gonna put that down there. Alright, so I'm gonna kind of move this over and go ahead and put some flowers on this. Alright, so I'm gonna put this one on this side. And the way I do this page is, um, it's more free form, I guess you could say. I don't have a certain way that I do things. I just kind of, I just write the scriptures and I don't have a certain spot that I put them in the way I do this. I just, like, whenever the day is done, I go on to the next one on the next line if that makes sense um it works really well i like it uh i enjoy this way of doing things so i will continue to do that and i probably should have done these a little bit differently because now I've got three little ones there and then I've got those there. Um, maybe, well, I wouldn't want to change the blue one because it would be blue one. So, change this one and this one maybe. And then I'll have those over there. Oh, there's yellow ones already over here. Oh no. Well, maybe change these yellow one, this yellow one, with, put it back in the book. And I'll put a white one on this side that's a different, like this. All right, so now I've got two big and a small, a small, kind of a medium, but it's two bigs. All right, so that works. That's good. I'm not going to do any more of those. I think that's good. I like it. It's cute. It's functional. These flowers are a little big. 
but I can write small. Plus, most of them are only one scripture. There's only one that has two. All right, so I'm gonna just stick this in here like I always do to show you guys what it turned out like. And then I'll put this over to the side the best I can, and I will just tell you guys goodbye. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. I do appreciate it. I do hope you enjoyed this video. And um, if you have, if you don't mind, leave me a comment down below. Let me know how you're doing. If you have a prayer request, you can leave that down below as well. And if you don't want to put it in public, you can always send me an email at mamacatshomestead at gmail.com. And you don't even have to tell me what you want me to pray about. You can just say, hey, pray for me. Or pray for so-and-so, you know, friend, family, whatever, somebody. You know, it's just up to you if you ask me to. You don't have to ask me to pray for you. That's completely up to you. But I feel like we are supposed to pray for each other. Um, and in yesterday's video, I got all discombobulated because Noah came in whenever... Um, I was telling you guys goodbye and he he was looking at me funny and I was, and I was like what is going on so then I asked him I said what was I said what were you looking at me so funny he said I was in there making so much noise because <laughs> he was laughing and stuff you've heard him laughing in this video I'm sure and I told him I said don't you dare worry about that people like to hear you laugh it's fine but um yeah he was laughing and I, I just don't see anything wrong with it I think laughter is great. But anyway, um, the email is momcatshomestead at gmail.com. You do not have to. It's not just for prayer requests, though. That email is not. It's, if you just want to tell me hi, you want to tell me something good that happened to you or whatever, you know, that that's that's what it's, you know, there for. And, um, or if you find a good Bible study you like or something, you can tell me about that. And if you like if you'd like to see more of what's going on in our lives, I do have another channel. It's Mama Cat's Home. Most of you already know about that, but it is linked down in the description box as well. You can find all kinds of things linked in there. So, with all that, I'm going to say thank you again, and I will see you next time. Remember, don't take any wooden nickels, and be sweet.